Tarot for Beginners by Anne Crane. Learn the magic of tarot with simple instruction for card meanings and reading the spreads. So, not a huge thick book. Um, so, you get what's kind of like in each chapter. So, brief history, you got images. Um, kind of, so like when you see like, um, this like blue gray type of thing, it's something that, um, you could do, but you also have this border box of, so affirmation for accepting your choice. So this is kind of like, um, in the section of choosing your deck. So different kind of topics. So, like, well, this one's Tarot of Maasai and the Gold, um, Gilded Tarot, um, and New Mythic Tarot. Um, so just an introduction, um, very basic kind of, um, information. Um, you got cleansing the deck. So people have a, a few different ways, um, of cleansing um their tarot deck so this is just an option for you if you want to do it this way um structure um understanding symbols um using them so you got a few different things so um, Major Arcana, so getting to know it, so like a overview, um, working with each card, um, astrological affinities and numbers, so um, Arcanum number, astrological affinity, so full, zero, um, unlimited potential, and then Uranus freedom, magician, one focused action, and then Mer uh, Mercury magic, and then continues on. So for the major arcana, this is kind of the setup for each card, um, you got an image, um, keys, so, and then meaning and example interpretation of it. So, like, um, the Fool's Keys, um, from the author, adventure, spontaneity, impulse, infatuated, blind to the truth, eternal optimist, ready for romance, a quest, or a risk. So that's kind of a lot of keys that a lot of other people have associated with this card. Um, so it just describes what's going on in here and what could come and what, so describing it and then what it could be um, meaning. Um, and for the fool's in, um, example interpretation, um, often turns up in relationship questions and ex signifies that you may be infatuated or blind to the truth. However, it can also mean that the romance is flourishing and taking a risk in love isn't such a bad idea. Um, Then if it's in certain positions, it describes. And then um, packing your fool's bag. So um, it's just an activity or a ritual or something to do um, in relation to that card. So um, so with the magician, you got a uh, heaven and earth spell. Um, this exercise will give you an experience of the power of the magician. 
and how you two, if you truly believe, can invoke the power of the universe to help manifest your dreams. So, um, that kind of continues on for each of the major arcana. Now, with the minor, so again, you got an introduction to the suits and um, the numbers and core cards associated and kind of like what's associated. And then you got um, the suit separated kind of meaning. Um, like a kind of like as overall and so you got the court um, cards first and so you don't so obviously so it's not set up as the major um, so like to me this kind of like typical of a lot of other tarot books where you'll get a lot more for the major and something like this for the minor and and what I like about this is that the core cards are with the rest of the suit. Because some books, the core cards are separated. Where here, it's they're not really that separated. Um, and then, so it continues on um, for the others. And then um, you get your spreads. So in introduction, um, positions, and then a few different um, uh, decision maker. How do I find love? So you got kind of like an outline and an example reading. Um, blockage. So kind of layout, example reading. Um, and so, and it just kind of ends. So it goes from how do I find love to in the index. So there's no real um, kind of like a conclusion um, type of thing. But like it's really good, good um, basic kind of thing. And if you are the type of person who likes to an annotate your books, like especially with like the major arcana, you got the space to do it. Um, Like, with the minor, you still have a bit of space, but not as much. So, if you do um, like this one, and you could always put, like, sticky notes or something in this, but if you are the type of person who likes to annotate um, books, you got the space for it. Um, but not overcomplicating anything. Um, so, and like all the tarot basics, it is a very basic book, um, pretty good starter book. Um, so yeah, tarot for beginners, happy readings.